In this episode, I discover what it's like to be the most hated paramedic in the city. Pretty much every time I stop at the lights, look, look at this guy. He's going to smash right into the back, but right there. Look at that right there. He just smashed right into the back of the ambulance yet again. It seems like everybody's got it out for me. My CPR skills get put to the test. Here we go. CPR is working. I'm now CPRing. Oh, no, no. Hold on. She's dying. She's dying. She's dying. Nope. I'm now CPRing the shit out of her. There we go. We're getting some pulse there. And I have an epiphany. Man, this ambulance is hard to drive. The handling line here is just not friendly at all. No wonder the AI could not drive these things. Now I know. Hello, everybody. My name is Anton. Welcome to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 LSPDFR. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. It's not going to be a police patrol. This will be an EMS patrol. A number of you have been asking me to do the EMS patrol as well as the fire mod. And we will do the fire mod later on. But I thought, hey, let's make an episode. I'm going to jump into the game. I'm going to switch to a paramedic outfit and we're going to jump into this ambulance and let's check it out from the other perspective. These are the guys that we usually call in when there's shots fired and there's suspects dead on the ground. So now we're going to be the ones that are going to be looking after those suspects. Before we get started, as always, let me give you a write down of the ambulance. You would, of course, seen this ambulance here in all of my episodes whenever I request EMS, but we've never really have taken a closer look at the ambulance, and that is what we're going to do right now. So let me start off here with, of course, the three different ALS stages, as I always do. This is what the third stage of ALS looks like, and you can see there's a ton of light here on this ambulance. I always love seeing this thing come down the street there, especially dur during dark nights, and you see this thing pull up. It looks absolutely fabulous. Dropping it down to the second stage of ELS, I believe all that really does, from what I can see, is just changing up some of the patterns. And maybe some of those lights right there on the side do not go off, but then the patterns just become a little bit more basic. I think some of those white lights there in the light bar get turned off as well. And then, of course, our first stage of ELS, the entire car is dark, except that little traffic light there at the very top. So that's where the three different ALS stages look here on this Vapid Ambulance. Let me just jump inside, give you a quick little tour of the vehicle. Look at that. We got a big, big windshield here. Easy to see. Hands on the wheel. That is perfect. Got our dashboard, our radio. Got to listen to our tunes. Got to listen to the tunes. There we go. Got a bit, a bit of a squeeze back there on that back seat there. No fat people allowed, but other than that, looks absolutely great. No clipping issues, nothing like that. So if you do play first person, what a great, great car here to play first person in. And of course, you do have those rear view mirrors that are working as well. Look at that. Not quite sure how that mirror is working because technically in the back is the actual ambulance and must be a camera, I'm going to say. Let's just go along with that. So that is what the ambulance looks like. A beautiful, beautiful ambulance. We're going to take it out. Let's go out, let's do some EMS calls, and we'll just see what happens here. I don't even know if I'm supposed to use the same radio codes. I'm just going to go along with it. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. Uh, in an ambulance, I'm going to be 1041, and I'll be 108. All right, we're going to hang out here in the Davis Strawberry area, at least for the time being. We are now in service and available for calls, so we just have to wait for them to come in. This is very different from the usual LSPDFR patrols when we patrol as police. There's no traffic stops now. I kind of have to ignore people doing stupid stuff here out on the roads. But we're going to try to drive around here the area for a little bit. And hopefully wait for some calls to come in. They should be coming in pretty often and pretty quick here as we get started. So we'll, of course, head out and hopefully see if we can help some people, resuscitate them, do whatever we need to do. Lots of traffic here in the city tonight as the sun begin to, begins to set down here on the city of Los Santos. And, of course, everybody rushing out. I think there's something happening at the Maze Bank Arena. That's probably why there's so much traffic heading down here on Davis Avenue that way. So that could be it as well. But we should probably have a call here coming in now in a few seconds. And then we'll respond to that. Take care of that call, and there it is. A pedestrian has been st struck by vehicle. All the way, all the way down there. Oh my God, are you crazy there? 
Uh, Roger that, dispatch. Uh, three Adam 10, gonna be responding code three. As already, somebody smashed right into the back of the ambulance. I mean, come on, man. All right, let's make our way through the traffic lights here and rush over to help the pedestrian struck by vehicle. Come on, get out of the way. Ambulance coming through with the lights and sirens on. Oh, and there's a train in the way. Come on, I guess, you know, we can't get him to stop right for us. So we gotta wait for him to clear the intersection here and put up the barrier. Come on, let's go, let's go. We got a car accident that we need to head to. All right, here we are coming up on another intersection. Oh, a little 1050 there with that vehicle. I was trying to keep it together, but the handling line was not allowing me to stop that quickly. And he was not stopping for us either. So the little 1050 there with that vehicle. What are these people doing? All right, coming up now on the scene of the car accident. Looks like it's right up ahead here. There it is. There's somebody lying right in the middle of the road. Dispatch three, Adam 10, you can show me 1023. All right, let's figure out what we have to do here. Go to the patient and press T to assess their injuries. Hey man, my name is Anton with the uh, Los Santos EMS. Uh, what's going on there? Or sir or ma'am or whoever you are. I can't even see who it is. I think it's a, I think it's a female. A tow truck. I don't want a tow truck. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to get a tow truck. I'm trying to assess the injuries. She's getting up right now. Ma'am, what's going on? What's wrong? No way. She's got a broken leg. Uh, yeah, no, let's go to the hospital. We got to take you in. Come with me here to the ambulance. A broken leg. We're going to be taking you in. Not sure how I managed to call a tow truck, but it happens, I suppose. There comes the tow truck for the car. All right, ma'am, go ahead and jump into the ambulance here. Uh, okay, you can just go ahead and jump into the ambulance here. Like that. There we go. And let's go ahead and transport her to the hospital. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I have one patient. Uh, I'm going to be 107 to the hospital. I'm guessing we can roll code 3 there. I mean, she just has a broken leg. It's not... Oh, I just demolished that sign. I guess it's not a life-threatening emergency. We'll go code 2. We'll go code 2 here. Looks like there's an officer right here at the intersection. Not sure if he's blocking it off for us or what he's doing. But we'll head over to the hospital code 2. We'll get her broken leg taken care of just like that. Well, look at that. Paramedic Anton is on the case. Man, this ambulance is hard to drive. The handling line here is just not friendly at all. No wonder the AI could not drive these things. Now I know. I always end up complaining about the AI being terrible drivers when it comes to ambulance or tow trucks or PT. But now I know why. It's because this thing is impossible to drive. All right, let's just get through this intersection right here. Hospital is just right down the street here coming up. We'll get her dropped off at emergency, get her broken leg looked after. No, 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 no. Do not go in front of me, you moron. All right, here we are. And of course, he's going to cross the road right in front of us. Yeah, okay. All right, here we are arriving at the emergency room. There's the paramedic to pick her up. Let's get her dropped off. Hey there, got one for you. She's got a broken leg. I'm not sure how she's walking, but she'll manage. All right, he's going to take her in. In they go. And we're going to be all done with that call. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm uh, clear off that call and uh, I'll be 10-8. Uh, Just driving around here in the Strawberry Davis area, waiting for some calls to come in. It's a bit of a slow night here in Los Santos. Not a heck of a lot happening injuries wise. But I'm sure we'll get something here in a second. Like I said, it's a weird patrol because I feel like I should be doing more. But I really have no choice except to drive around. I've seen numerous accidents now. 
and there's nothing I can do about it. Any available unit Ambulance is requested. We've got an injured civilian we are an available unit. Library. Looks like we got some injured civilians there. Roger that, dispatch. Three, three Adam, ten. ten. Uh, that is affirmative. I'm responding, code three. All right, let's go ahead here. No information right now available at this time as to what the injuries are. Uh, looks like just ambulance has been requested, so we're going to head over this way. See if I can just get through this intersection here. Like that. Very nice. And it's going to be right up the road here somewhere. Actually, not that far from the hospital. Oh, come on. Really? You had to swerve right into me. You're a douchebag. All right, there we go. Some people getting out of the way, others not really. All right, here we are. We're coming up here on this location, uh, right here at this intersection of Strawberry Avenue and Innocence Boulevard. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can show me 1023. Looks like potentially they're right down there on the ground. Let's go ahead and jump out here and try to help them out. Looks like we got somebody right here. Patient is, uh, looks like appears to be may possibly dead. We need to perform CPR here on them. So I'm gonna try my best. Looks like it's a female. Uh, let's see here if we can CPR her. And I'm gonna try, try my best here. I'm not really great at CPR when I'm a policeman. So, I mean, now that I have had professional paramedic training, we should be much better at this. All right, here we go. Here we go. CPR is working. I'm now CPRing. Oh, no, no, hold on. She's dying. She's dying. She's dying. Nope. I'm now CPRing the shit out of her. There we go. We're getting some pulse there. It's going up, continuing to go up there. We might have. There we go. We got her. Look at that. And she just fell over. All right, ma'am. Come with me here. We're going to take you to the hospital. Get you checked out in the emergency room. Just walk right over to the ambulance right here. Oh, really? Did you have to smash right into the side there? Ma'am, get right over here. Go ahead and hop in. All right, I'm going to transport you to the hospital. We're just right around the corner. Uh, dispatch a three, Adam 10. I'm going to have one patient here. I'm going to be dad 10 7 to the hospital. All right, let me just turn around. We're literally, literally, rather, uh, right around the corner here. All right, let's get her to the emergency room. I mean, she could have just technically walked over there herself. All right, here we are arriving at the emergency room again. We've got another paramedic coming out here to meet her. Hey, what's going on? She passed out here on the street, so I was able to resuscitate her, but get a doctor to look at there, see what her injuries are, what happened there. All right, dispatch three, Adam 10. Uh, you can show me clear off the last call. I'm going to be 10-8. Uh, I don't know why everybody just keeps smashing into the back of my ambulance. I don't know if there's something wrong with the model. Maybe it's too big. Maybe, like, the headbox is too big. Of course, all the modders out there are probably going, that idiot, that's not called a headbox. But it's just so weird because everybody... Pretty much every time I stop at the lights. Look, look at this guy. He's going to smash right into the back. But right there. Look at that. Right there. He just smashed right into the back of the ambulance yet again. It seems like everybody's got it out for me. They just keep smashing right into the back of the vehicle. What is going on here with this ambulance? I have no idea why. Everybody has got it out for me tonight. But nevertheless, we are still out here driving around waiting for some calls to come in. Still hanging around in the Davis Strawberry area. Let's see here if we can maybe make our way down to Grove Street, I'm guessing. Now every time I make a stop at any stop sign or a traffic light, I'm just afraid that somebody's going to come up right behind us and smash right into us again. Man, these guys are making some really tight turns here on this stop sign. There we got a call coming in there for an ambulance being requested in Rancho. Uh, Roger that dispatch. Uh, 3 Adam 10 responding code 3. That is affirmative as I turn around here in this little alleyway. And we're going to head back over to Rancho here. Yeah, it's just right around the corner actually. And see if we can 
find out what the medical emergency is. No info available at this time. They're going to be just on the other side of the street there. From the looks of it, I might have to swing her all the way around. Let's do that. So they're going to be somewhere right over there right now. Man, this thing drives like a beast. There they are. I see them. A dispatch 3, Adam 10. Uh, you can show me 1023. All right, let's jump out. Let's find out what's going on with her. Hey, ma'am, my name is Anton. I'm a paramedic. What's, what's happening? You all right? Let's go ahead and assess her injuries as we stand right over her there in a very decisive pose. She's trying to grab our hand, gasping for air, perhaps. There you go. She's getting up. All right, what's wrong with her? Uh, she's got a concussion and a, some vertigo there. I mean, we should probably get her to the emergency room, get her checked out. All right, ma'am, come with oh, me. No, they didn't. No, oh, no, they didn't. Come with me. We're going to take you to the hospital, get that concussion looked after, because that could get very serious if you don't take care of that. So go ahead and hop, on, uh, hop into the back of the ambulance there like that. And then we'll uh, transport you down to the hospital. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to be 10-7 to the hospital uh, with one patient. Uh, looks like we got a, a concussion. We'll go ahead and back up here, and then we're going to transport her over and get that concussion taken care of. All right, coming up to the hospital right now. I'm just going to try to get through the center section here. Like that, and we should be just right around the corner here for the emergency room. Oh, what a tight, tight squeeze this is. All right, here we are arriving. We should have a paramedic out here up front that's going to meet us. Maybe, perhaps. There he is. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I got a female uh, patient here. She had a concussion. I found her lying on the sidewalk. All right, she's going to be taken in. Another successful drop-off here by Anton the paramedic. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can show me clear off the previous call, and uh, I'll be 10-8. Copy Any available unit in the South Los Santos area? We've got a medical emergency. Uh, and looks like we got a call coming in here for an ambulance request. Just right around the corner. Uh, roger that. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm right around the corner, responding code 3. Let's get through this intersection here. They're right there. Possibly. Is that the strip club where they're at? Let's try to get around here. No, it's going to be this apartment complex right there. I don't know why I thought that was the strip club. That's in the general vicinity of the strip club. Let's go ahead and pull up. Looks like they're going to be back here somewhere. Yep, there he is. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can show me 1023. All right, he's on the ground right now. Let's go ahead and try to do CPR here on him. If we're able to at all. Come on. You can do it. Am I not able to do CPR? There we go. Finally, it's working. There we go. Let's try to do some compressions here. Hopefully, we're going to be able to resuscitate him. Not quite sure if he's passed out or what's going on with him right now. All right, everybody, stand back. Stand back. We're going to do CPR. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting a bit of a pulse here. Nope, nope, nope. He's dying. He's dying. There we go. Oh, oh, we, nope. Nope. Unable to really revive him right now. Looks like we might be doing it right now. There we go. No, he's dropping again. He's dropping. I'm trying. I can't get him. I can't, I can't get him. Come on, you live, you son of a bitch, live. Live, live, there we go. We got him. Man, that's quite a shock coming back to life there. All right, you come with me. No, no, you come with me. You're going to the hospital. Come on, get into the back here. Get into the back of the ambulance. We're going to take you to the hospital. There we go. Oh, I did not think he was going to make it there for a second, and it was just kind of a last-minute save there. Uh, dispatch 3, Adam 10. I'm going to be 10-7 uh, back to the hospital here with one patient. I've uh, been able to revive him 
uh, with CPR. Uh, stand by in the emergency room. Let's go ahead. We're right around the corner here from the hospital too, so we do not have that far to go. Thanks for pulling right in front of me there, idiot. And then he smacks right into the backs of the... Right into the other cars, rather. Okay, well, that guy does not know how to drive as I smack into vehicles as well. Perfect. All right, we're right here. So that was a very quick drive there from our scene. Hey, I found him on the ground. Was able to revive him uh, with CPR, but get him to the emergency room right away. Off he goes. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for our EMS themed LSPDFR episode. Let me know what you think in the comments if you would like to see more EMS episodes. I will also work on putting together the fire episode as well, so you'll see that coming up very, very shortly. Thank you once again for joining me. I will catch you on the next episode of GTA 5 LSPDFR. Dispatch 3, Adam 10. You can show me clear off the last call. I'm going to be uh, 1042 and uh, I'll actually be parking up the ambulance right here. There we go. Oh, right into the stairs. Oh, man. My face all right now. I'm going to have to go to the hospital. Probably knock my teeth out there. All right. What do we got here? An asthma attack. Hey there, sir. You okay? Come down here.